What's up guys? If you've made it to this video, that most likely means you were directed here from our other video covering the install of the Motobilt Spare Tire Delete Kit. If you've made it this far, that most likely means you were in the middle of installing this and if you made it to this video, that might mean that you want to run your wiring the same way that we did. So this whole video is going to cover how Cody ran the wiring for the optional third brake light included with the Motobilt Spare Tire Delete Kit. This is a little bit of the long way around like we explained before, but Cody is going to cover everything you need to know all in this one video, and then once we're finished here, you can go back to the other video to wrap up the whole install of the rest of the spare tire delete kit. Let's go ahead, take a step back, and I'll show you guys where exactly we left off in the last video. Now that we have our wiring harness out of the spare tire carrier, thought it would be a good time to show our new third brake light from off-road only. You can order this with your Motobilt kit. It is an optional selection, so your kit doesn't just come with this, you have to select it. The problem is, with the stock wiring, there is no wire for the license plate light in the uh, stock harness. So this is our, right here, our third brake light. Our license plate's down in the bumper, and our license plate light is right here beside. So all the wiring for the stock license plate light is way down here, and we need it all the way up here. We can take the tail light out from inside and tap in there, or we can undo the wiring from the bumper, undo it from here, cut the plug off and run it all the way up through the body into here and then I have to extend it and run it all the way along and up through to here. It was already the dedicated wire for the license plate light so I think I'm gonna go that way and just keep it as it is instead of splicing into one of the tail light wires. What we're gonna do is start tearing the stock license plate light apart and working up from there. leading into the next video on the bumper replacement. Because if I had to take this bumper completely off for this, it's not going back on. Oh, well, there's our bumper. That's it. And this whole big plug is only for the license plate light. Okay. The bumper kicked my ass, but I won. But all that work was just for this section of wire. Now it's not necessary, and if you plan on keeping your stock bumper, do not do this step, because to get this wiring out, you pretty much destroy your factory bumper. Now I probably don't need to do this step, because I could have just went and got some extra wiring from the store. There's nice factory wiring already there. And I'm not reusing the rear bumper. So a little extra work and now I get factory wiring to hopefully keep it all nice and neat to run that license plate light. Now, since we got the wiring out of the bumper, we have to get the other part of the wiring, the plug side, up through the body and down and around the trim on the inside. All right, next step is, can you guys see it? We have to take out this whole trim piece because the wiring from the license plate light goes down through a grommet behind here. So we have to fish that wiring back up through so we can add that bit of wire that we just stole from the rear bumper and run it all the way down 
along the trim and all the way across to the tailgate side. First, we have to remove the little seat belt clip of the plastic here, which I already started with. I have these trim removal tools, which are super handy. So once you remove that, it's just a bunch of clips that have to split this plastic apart. So it's going to be ah, eerie when you pull on it. It's going to make some scary noises. But we're going to hopefully not break anything. And we're going to probably have to remove our weather stripping right here. So I have that panel piece unsnapped and I have my little trim pry bar kind of wedging it open so I don't have to unhook everything and then the grommet I was talking about is right there so pull your grommet out and then from there you have to come down here from the plug from the bumper we're gonna have to snip it there is a plastic clip right here that we have to un or get rid of, and then we should be able to pull the wire straight up through that grommet hole. All right, so it's this, should be the skinnier wire. What am I getting hung up on? We're just getting hung up on that guy. We just have to pull this guy up through the hole it is part of the wiring harness in here. Instead of undoing this wiring harness, I'm just gonna poke a hole, a little hole next to the grommet here and fish it back up through. That way we don't have to undo all this factory wrap. So there we go, poked our little hole, it's close to the factory fits as possible. Cut off this zip tie. We do not need this thing. Push those through that same hole. Just like that. And push the ground back in place. And then our wire that we took from the bumper, we are going to join to this wire. We're gonna use that length and run it all the way down along the trim to roughly about this area, but be about as far as it'll go. But then that's long enough to go into our new wiring. And then uh, from there, the new wiring, we can run up into this and all the way across. Now we have our wires coming through the grommet down to here. And we have our wire from our bumper, which is clean and stripped of all the plastic pieces and the plugs. So we have two bare end wires. The reason, again, that I wanted to do this is because this is factory wiring that went with this. So it's all was designed to work together and instead of throwing it away, might as well just reuse it. So I gotta give a shout out to Kevin and Brittany from Lightbright because they're the ones that did this in their video and gave me the idea for it. So thank you guys, this is a much cleaner and simpler way on doing this. So now we're going to strip the wires, get them uh, connected. I'm gonna actually solder them together and do some uh, heat shrink on it just to kinda make sure I have a good connection and keep it as waterproof as possible. We have our wires stripped. Key thing, before you hook your wires together, make sure to put your uh, heat shrink over the wire because then you're gonna have to disconnect it and redo it. Well, no, that'll work. Now, if you've never used heat shrink before while soldering, make sure to push it 
a good ways down the wire. That way the heat doesn't transfer from the torch and shrink it premature. The other key with soldering, especially around your nice new vehicle, is put a rag down to catch any solder that may drip. So I forgot to record the first one, but I got that soldered and taped and then I just finished soldering this side. So now I'm going to wrap a piece of tape around that one and then slide up the heat shrink and seal them together. All right, now we have two conjoined wires that look factory-ish. Now we have to route these and the next connection is gonna be to our new third brake light wiring. All right, before I clip all this plastic back in, I'll show you how I ran this wire. So, comes up through the grommet there, comes down, along here on the other side of that pin it goes down under that part it comes out I get that on camera it's about there it goes under the trim and now I have that much left I'm gonna start feeding it underneath the weather stripping all the way across so I'm gonna snap this area in first and then keep running it that way. I'm now the camera lady. Yeah. Okay, say that again. Did I just snap the plastic back in? You wanna pan over. So all this is now clipped back into place and the wiring is coming out down here now. Gotcha. Show the wiring. Ooh, the wiring. So the weather stripping pulled away. And the wiring is going to go right along the inside of the tub. Like a glove in the tub. Just like that. So then our new wiring is going to come from here down out that corner. And we're going to join in here. And it'll be all nice and neat and tucked away. All right. All right. Let's do it. On to it. Plugging back in the connectors that we unplugged earlier that went through the grommet and the, out the tailgate because now we're going to reroute this wire about here and since I don't want to go out through the grommet I want to come out, out behind I'm actually going to cut out a section of this so we can feed the camera and the new connector for the third brake light out here and then that'll plug into the new license plate tag relocation. We have this wire which was our third brake light before. We're going to cut this connector. We're going to wire this all together and then this wire is going to run and meet this wire. So again, we have our green, which is for our license plate light, our black, which is our ground, and our red, which is our brake. Bunch of wires. All the blacks are gonna go together. This green and white is for the brake light that's gonna go to the red, and the blue and the white is for the license plate light and that's going to go to the green. So now we have to make all this all the magic happen. Come together. I just like Kevin and Brittany did in their video, poked a little hole and fished the wire all the way through and poked another hole in here, which if I pull you can see it there, the wire coming out. We fed that all the way down 
now across here and I just soldered these two together so black on black green on the okay, sorry I got tape all over so it's blue white so the red I cut short in there because we're not using the red in this section the reds for the brake light and this section is only going to be for the license plate light so got that soldered I got to tape these joints heat shrink that and then come up in here so now into here I gotta cut this connector off we're not still not using red out of this one so we're gonna connect black to black on this this is our connector that goes to our new light so this is gonna have our green black and red so from this this is our stock brake light this green white wire will go to our red the black will go to the other blacks and then our green in this is going to match with green on that and everything should work like I said I haven't tested it so I'm going to pretend to be overly confident that it will work we got the heat shrink down and connected our wires are all soldered and individually taped and then heat shrink then we have it going all the way up through here through the stock sheath and waiting for us to start connecting to go through to our rear brake light We've got our weather stripping all back in our tray back in looks factory the wires come all the way up to right here again out of this section we won't be using the red we'll just be using the green and the black and then from our new wire over there with this we're going to do some more magic and make that happen I have all the wires stripped and hooked up so just again to quickly explain how I have the wiring and if you've been watching the video you're kind of following along I've already explained it a little bit but now that it's all hooked up just showing so this wire here is strictly our license plate light and it has the red in it because it was only excess from the wire that was supplied with the motorboat kit so that red is doesn't exist so I'm cutting him out I just left it there for demonstration so in that license plate wire we have a green and a black and then this black wire right here is our factory third brake light so there's a black and a white green and then from our new plug that goes to our new third brake light license plate light combo we have three wires a green a black and a red the red is for our third brake light so that goes to the white green the black goes to all the blacks from the third brake light and the license plate light and then the green is goes green to green for the license plate light so before I solder all this together and move my heat shrink down which again just like before we put the heat shrink on before we did all this that way we can slide it down we have all the wires hooked up now it's going to be the time to test and hopefully everything works and I didn't mess up somewhere and I have to backtrack. And there is our license plate light. Perfect. So that means that we didn't mess up and I don't have to backtrack and we can finish by soldering these wires together and cleaning everything up. And just like that, all the wiring is complete and it looks somewhat factory we go through the factory harness alongside nice heat shrinks keeps everything clean up we have our connector so we can disconnect here feed our wire out if we ever have to take it off but overall right there's the door at full open so none of the wires bind or anything and there's not a bunch of wires all gaggled and a mess so 
you take your time, do it right, it'll look clean, and it'll work good. Whew! Now y'all know why we had to split this into a two-part video. That wraps up our whole wiring section of this install. At this point, I'm actually going to send you guys back to our previous video to wrap up the rest of your install for your Motobuilt Spare Tire Delete Kit. If you would happen to have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.